day, friends. Today, we were supposed to be going to Epcot for Dapper Day, but we heard the People Mover has opened, so we rushed over here. We have to ride the People Mover, and then we'll go into Epcot to enjoy Dapper Day. So, let's go do this. Looks like the line starts here. I'm so excited. Here is a look at the line of people waiting for the People Mover. They're actually bringing out more ropes and line queues. They're extending the queue even more. There's no posted wait time for the People Mover. There never has been. So we could be in this line for an hour. We could be in it for 30 minutes. Usually it's a quick loading process, but we don't know what, like how long the wait is. It just opened up within the hour. I'm with Jackie, super enthused, who we were going to Epcot. Yeah, you know, look at our, look at, we we're already dapper yeah. to go. But I mean, People Mover takes priority, priority. number one. Yes. Yep, we're like, <laughs> abandon Epcot, but then we run back. We're gonna go back to Epcot right though. Back. Oh yeah, we have to have a dapper Epcot day. Yeah. I like how they socially distance the markers. So like now we have to go and once we pass this marker here, they'll let somebody else on. And then once we hit this one, they'll let another person on. Very, very efficient. Socially distancing on the people mover. <laughs> it happened. I was so worried, like I said, that it would break down or something and I wouldn't be able to ride it, but I'm safe now. I'm happy, I'm in my happy place. Very, very happy. I'm so excited for this. I ran from Epcot to be here. <laughs> My favorite part, here we go, we're taking off. Highway in the sky. We invite you to sit back, relax. Look at all the people down there. There's Resort TV One. Hi friends. <laughs> Everybody's so happy to be riding. This is what people moving is all about right here. Oh no, don't fall! Oh, coming up on that castle shot. You gotta get ready for that castle get ready, shot. Get ready. <laughs> I loved coming through here during fireworks. Oh, look at that beauty. I love it. So amazing. What a view. <laughs> Now we get to see all the progress that Tron from the People Mover. Look at that. This is going to be so amazing once it's all lit up. Hello, fellow travelers! <laughs> oh, going in here. Johnson in the control tower to confirm your flight to the moon. It's a great big beautiful tomorrow shining at the end of every day. It's a great big beautiful tomorrow and tomorrow is just a dream away. show you guys one of my favorite hidden Mickeys on the People Mover. Oh, here we come. Look at the hairdresser's belt buckle. Right there. I see it! You see it, right? Awesome! Oh, looks like our journey is coming to an end here. I'm so sad, but I'm gonna ride again. We have to. We're gonna go another round. That was just so amazing. I love it. I love it so much. What a relaxing ride. I remember riding this ride non-stop and not even having to get off. They just let you go round and round and round. 
now it's time we make our way back to Epcot, but we had to take a look at the castle there. Isn't it just so beautiful from this angle? Just like that, we were sitting in front of Cinderella Castle, and here we are, this big, beautiful spaceship Earth. I love it so much. Beautiful, I say. I am just so happy to be at Epcot during Dapper Day. I'm sure we've missed a lot of the Dapper Day festivities because we did choose to go do the People Mover first, which, you know, who blames us? But uh, hopefully we run into some other Dapper people and get some cool pics, unless they went to go do the People Mover. And in that case, I don't blame them. When in Epcot, we gotta go meet our good friend Figment and journey into imagination, a five minute wait. Look at that. One little spark will light your fancy. Your mind sees more than what your eyes see. <laughs> Today's theme is how to capture your imagination with Dr. Nigel Channing. And we are going to be in cart B2. Bye, friends. Bye. Welcome, welcome, welcome to our special drive-through open house. I'm Dr. Ayo Channing, chairman of the Imagination Institute. Hello. On your tour, you'll see how the five human senses can help capture your imagination. Oh, oh, can I go too? Wrong, Doc. It's not about listening with your ears. It's about listening with your imagination. <laughs> now I've completely lost my train of thought. No, you haven't. Well, things got quiet here, folks. Weird. Oh my gosh. But the ride must continue. Uh-oh. F-I-G-M-E-N-T. <laughs> you can see things differently. <laughs> the ride stopped and the ride audio stopped. Interesting. I think we need to just your do it. More. Then what your eyes eye see, your, your sense, sense of sight. sight can make your fancy fly there's more to sight than meets the eye imagination yeah we did it <laughs> come on here we go i need the rose oh. daddy needs a new pair of shoes come on High roller, high roller. Yep. Alright, what's Figment gonna give us this time? Whoa! What? Figment, don't! Oh, much more fun! Right this way, everybody! Figment, what is going on? You're turning this entire open house upside down! Upside down? Now you're talking! Imagination is the best when it's set free. It was so fun to actually break down there for a second and then we carried on the song and some people actually clapped for us afterwards. I felt very fancy. Anywho, I remember one time we actually completely broke down and we were able to walk off the attraction and uh, they let us film and it was so awesome. I will put that uh, video link in the description to check it out. If you're a fan of Figment, you'll want to watch that video. Now that we got off Figment, I think we're gonna head into Disney Rewards photo spot. I love it in here. It has the best walls in all of Walt Disney World. I, I just love it. Good photos. Very good. And then you wanna come Oh, in? yes, I'll do this. Reflected in the diamond. Oh, genius. Perfect. 
her. The big pink face of birth that looks like Daisy Duck painted it because that is her favorite color. Oh! Look at it! I love this. I love these walls. Yes, we got pictures of the infinity walls. This is like infinity, like. And the monorail's going uphill. Ooh. That was really, really awesome. Usually the photo pass photographer just does photos in the last room, but she was all about it. Yeah. And the best thing about that is the walls. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. They used to have characters in there before the pandemic, but now I just love going there just staring at the walls. Now I think we're going to head on into World Showcase, maybe over to World Showplace, just to relax in the AC a little bit, listen to some music, and have some food and drink items. I haven't seen too many dapper folks here today. I switched out to my Spider-Man mask too. I mean, I was looking for my uh, Soul Cat mask, but if you guys remember, it was one of the videos, I ended up losing it. I had it on my broom of my hat, and on video, the, the, my mask literally fell off, and I didn't know because I was videoing, and a bunch of people are like, you lost your mask. If you guys remember what video that was, let me know in the comments because I can't remember, but that, that was the end of the Soul mask. I'm gonna go on the record and say right now it is 7.14 and this is almost the perfect time to be walking around World Showcase. Like it's not too hot and you get that golden hour almost sunset happening. A couple of dapper people are out and about. I, I definitely see a lot more dapper people at Magic Kingdom yesterday but today like I said there was a lot going on. Not too sure what we're going to be getting to eat inside the World Show place, but you can get lost in there because once you go in, like I said, it's AC'd and they have tons of different boots. Probably by the time we come out, it's going to be dark out. Like, you know what I mean? Like, you get lost in there, but many of good snacks and really good drinks. I really do like hanging out in here. I can feel the AC hitting me from here, actually. <laughs> I really like the lighting inside the World Show place and I'm pretty sure we're gonna run into some fellow dapper people because this is a good spot to hang out. See what I'm looking at here. Ooh, fancy I'm dapper here fellows. Here with my little tail feathers. I love it. I'm shiny. Shiny! I'm gonna you're welcome. Ooh, I'm so <laughs> I see what's happening here. <laughs> so we yesterday and they were themed, so two days in a row. That's the way. Day themed Disney bounding. That is commitment. <laughs> I love these little sliders because it has a garlic sausage, brisket, and pork. And it's just, it's perfect. Perfect for the meat lovers. I do have to say I like to enjoy the sausages though without it on the bun. Like, I, I don't think you yeah. can eat it. Yeah, like, no, you can't it's too eat much. It. There's yeah. too much going on there. No way. <laughs> yeah. It is a little difficult to bite into on its own. It's actually a big, like, slider, but I'm going to give it a go here. I really do love this slider. I don't know why. I remember the first day of Flower and Garden I got it and I was like, this is my favorite thing here. And to this day, it still stands. Ooh, my favorite. I'm gonna try it. Last time I was here, I remember they didn't have a lot of beer like selections. They had a lot of ciders and they had one maple ghee, like stout. And I did find this Sam Smith, like old brewing organic lager. And I think this is actually pretty decent. I really do like this one. Like I said, time elapses quick in here. For you guys, it was probably just like 20 seconds. But we've been here for quite a bit. Uh, and we'll see if it's dark outside. I can't even tell because you can't see outside from here. But I'm sure it's probably a lot darker, if not dark. Oh, it definitely got dark, but not dark dark. Yeah, not dark dark. It's still dark. very beautiful it's out. It's kind of like twilight. I like it. Twilight. Yeah. That's good, you. Yeah. Perfect, I have to say. Oh, nothing like coming out of a nice AC building to just cool, like, like, I know it's spring right now, but like, Florida spring nights are so nice because it's like a nice, like, cold, warm Ooh, balance, right? And yeah, and the full moon. And the, oh, full moon, yes. Look at that. Right now, Canada doesn't have a lot going on. It's mostly empty in the pavilion itself because all the shops are closed. Le Cellier is open in the stands out front, but it's still beautiful to hang out here, especially right now at this time. I'm stopping here at the Maple Popcorn Stand, and then we're gonna go up there and kind of just watch the sunset. I mean, it's starting to set quick, so I hope we catch a little bit of it, but look how beautiful it is up there. No, you're 
they have Crown Royal whiskey in frozen Coca-Cola. So Jackie decided to get that. I'm going with the good old Moosehead. Moose. Here they are, they're ready. Ooh. Looks like we're still gonna catch some of that sunset because look at, this is beautiful up here. And usually there's not a lot of people up here. It's just so nice. Canada far and wide. It's so awesome. The actual movie down there is good. It's not as good as the old Martin Short one, but I still like it. And just hanging out by the waterfall here kind of reminds me of Big Thunder Mountain. I know it's probably a little hard to hear me because of the waterfall behind me, but this is so beautiful sitting up here. Oh, just a great Dapper Day weekend. The People Mover opening up. So many amazing things happen. I had such a great time this weekend and I mean, it's not over. It's not even over. Things can get better. Things can get, seriously get better. We are going to actually make our way back out to Future World, but I wanted to stop at the Honey Bistro and grab the Honey Bee beer. Now, I had this the other day celebrating Earth Day at Animal Kingdom, and I really liked it. So I wanted to make sure I stopped here today to get it. I also think maybe another ride before we close out the night. Maybe the land? Living with the land. Would you like to live with the land? Always. Oh, there we go. We'll go living with the land. <laughs> So after the park being open till 11 o'clock for like the past like three months, today it closes at 10. So we've miscalculated and now we're rushing. We're rushing. We're rushing to get there. We're going to make it. We're not going to make it. <laughs> Two minutes. Two minutes. We can do it. We can do it. We're going to make it. One minute. One minute! Walkway closed! Stairs! One minute! One minute! Can we still make it? Oh, oh my god! <laughs> we made it! Did we make it? We literally Stand by entrance. Look at 9.59. Honestly, I thought the park closed at 11 o'clock for such a long time. And then I was like, hey, we were just talking and then all of a sudden, we're like, we gotta go, but we did it. We did it. I can't Just believe it. it. Oh, I love a good ending. Look at these snake birds right here. That is the trippiest thing I think I've ever seen. That prey on harmful pests like I love it. That is really awesome. Oh, look at the big ones right here. Oh, look at right there. We're growing Holy moly. It was really, really awesome just hanging up here and relaxing. Uh, the views are fantastic and the sunset was nice. It's just I think we got here a little bit too late. So I'll make the best of what we got and kind of do something quick for the end of the video. But I think that's going to do it for us. I mean, it's nighttime. It's been a long day. 
people mover early in the morning. That was so fantastic to get out there and get on that again because it's definitely a ride I've been missing for such a long time. And then hopping over to Epcot and just relaxing and riding figments. Really cool stuff. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. We'll see you next time. Bye.